This first activity is a pom-pom transfer activity. And for this activity, you will need some pom-poms you can get at your local craft store. You're going to need some tongs or tweezers. Um, the smaller you go, the more that you work on that fine motor skill and on that pincer grasp. And the larger that you go, you work on other types of skills on the hands and working on those muscles of the hands that's going to help the child with writing later on. And so here I have a piece of cardboard and then I have I have glued some bottle caps on there. Um, and so it's, it's pretty sturdy, it won't fall off. It's hot glued on there. And then I have some bottle caps. So I have collected some of them throughout the years or you can also purchase some of them online as well. I'll link below in the description box where you can find them. So let's get started Emily. You can use any of the tools that you want over here, okay? And so this is a great activity because the child, firstly, is going to work on those concentration skills as they are going to grab one pom-pom and put it into each of the bottle caps there. It takes concentration, it takes hand-eye coordination to be able to do this. And these are all skills that are going to help the child in many other areas. And so as the child works on that pincer grasp, is a, pr a great pre-writing activity. It's going to strengthen their hands for writing. The next activity is a letter recognition activity and the child is going to be matching the bottle cap letters to the mat over here. Over here I just went ahead and I created a document and where I put some uppercase letters and I'll put it in the description box where you can get it for free as a download and then I've taken some letters and I've written some lowercase letters so this is going to be a lowercase uppercase match. If you want to make it easier, you can make it both lowercase or both uppercase. But this is a little bit more challenging as the child needs to match lowercase to uppercase. Okay, Emily, want to go ahead and get started? And as another way to practice, you can have the child say the letter sound. What sound does that make, Emily? Ah. Ah, go to the next letter. This is a great phonics activity as well. Yeah. Gah, good job. S, s, good job. And the child keeps going all the way until they are done. The next activity is a spatial awareness activity in which the child is going to work on those logic skills to do the activity. So here I have a lady, little ladybug that I drew on a piece of white paper and then I put it into a laminate sheet protector so that it could be more durable. And then over here I've created some cards. I've, I've just done this by hand and I've laminated these so they could be more durable. And I put different patterns on here. And what the child is going to do is going to follow the pattern that they see. Forming the pattern with the bottle caps. Okay, Iris, go ahead and get started. Let's show them. This is the first pattern. So the child has to place the right color in the right spot. And this is a great activity, again, to work on the spatial awareness, to work on those logic skills and critical thinking skills. And it's a very easy activity to make. Again, you just need the bottle caps, draw some ladybugs, and you're ready to go. This next activity is a visual discrimination activity. Visual discrimination is crucial for all content areas and is something that all children need to master. And in this activity, I drew a butterfly on a piece of white paper. I put the white paper in a laminate sheet protector inside, and then I put some dot stickers. I will link below in the description box where you can get the dot stickers. 
Then on top of the dot stickers, I drew some figures. I did the same with the bottle caps. I matched the same stickers and I drew the same figures. And now the child is going to use the visual discrimination to match. A lot of these have the same color on purpose and they have similar shapes. As you can see, there's a heart with lines, there's a heart with a dot. Here's a sad face, here's a happy face, here's a little house with a door, here's a little house that's empty. So they're very similar and it was on purpose so that the child has to use their concentration skills, their visual discrimination to do the activity. Go ahead and get started, Emily. I'm going to show our friends how we do this. This next activity is learning directions. And here I have created these little strips with different directions. So I have laminated them for durability. And I have drawn some circles on them. And I've drawn up, right, down, and left. Different orders. And so the child is going to practice their directions. And then I have done the same with the bottle cap. So the child is going to match. You want to get started, Emily, and show our friends how to do it? Yeah. So the first one over here is an arrow pointing. What about the next one? Where is it pointing to? Right. Right. Very good. What about the next one? Down. Very good. What about the next one? Left. Left. Very good. So as you can see, the child is learning directions. It's very important to know your left from right and to know your directions. Let's do the next one, Emily. What is that pointing to? Down. Down. What about the next one? Where is that pointing to? Left. Left. Up. Up and? Right. Very good. And the child keeps on going on and on, practicing the directions with all of these uh, strips. This next activity is building designs with a bottle cap. This is a great activity for using your creativity to create different structures, to create different shapes. And kids absolutely love it. And so let's go ahead and show them, Jade, how we can make a structure with these bottle caps. So this could also be a great STEM activity as children build structures with these. And as you can see, you just keep stacking them up. You put two together and then one on top. And you keep going all the way up until you've created a wall. And it's just, the possibilities are endless on what you can do with these bottle caps. Um, you can just keep going and you can have children race each other and to see who gets the, the tallest tower. And kids absolutely love this because it's fun and they're using their creativity to build something. So the next activity is building any shape you would like. So the child can do a flower, they can do a worm, they can do a heart. It's just endless. You just let them use their creativity to build what they want. They can write their names with the bottle caps. They can do numbers and letters. It all depends on what they are wanting to do. But this is a fun activity. You just give them the bottle caps and have them create whatever it is that they want. Here Jade is creating a, looks like a happy face, right Jade? Yeah. Yeah, she's creating a little happy face here with the bottle caps. So it's really endless on the, the things that you can do. And uh, it's a great sensory activity um, that you can do with your children. Okay, Jay, so tell us what you have created here today. This is a flower. This is a flower. What's this? It's a smiley face. A smiley face, and this is? A worm. A worm. And what about this up here? 
It's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. So see, it's really Anders on what your kids can create with these. They have so much fun and they can use their creativity and their imagination to create what they want. So here is the next activity and this is a game of tic-tac-toe. I have drawn a diagram here and I have put it into a laminate sheet protector and then I have two different colors for the different sides. I have green and then I have blue for the other side. And go ahead and get started girls. Tic-tac-toe is a great game. You have to use strategies to be able to get three in a row and it's a great thinking game and this is a great way to use your bottle caps. So the next activity here is working with patterns and patterns are very important to learn for many mathematical concepts starting in kindergarten. So here we have different patterns Emily okay and I want you to tell me what you see in these patterns and tell me what comes next. Can you tell me what pattern you see here? Go ahead and tell me. Orange, orange. Hmm. Red. Orange, orange, red. And what comes next? Two oranges. Very good. Two oranges comes next. Let's go to the next pattern over here. What about here? What do you see in this pattern? Green, blue, green, blue. What comes next? Green. Okay, let's put the green on there. Very good. What about the next pattern? Up in the top. Pink. White, pink, white. What comes next? Pink. And the child can continue building the pattern all the way down the row. It's a great way to practice their pattern skills. Thanks for sharing, Emily. Bye. This next activity is a drop it into the box activity. And little kids that are one to two years old absolutely love it. Even three-year-olds love it as well. And so I have taken an oats container and I have cut out a hole at the top of the lid and the child is simply going to drop the bottle caps inside and little kids just love doing this, it's a fascination as they see the object disappear they're also working on their hand eye coordination as they have to aim to put the bottle cap into the hole they're using their fine motor skills as well too and it is something that they actually enjoy doing This is our last activity that we have here for bottle caps and here we have bottle caps and this is a transfer activity Montessori inspired and children from one to five years old just love doing this. I have picked a um, stainless steel container so that they can hear the bottle caps drop as they put them to the other side. And it just sounds nice to them and they love hearing the sound. So they're just basically going to go from one side to the other. This is great for following directions. It's great for that, again, hand-eye coordination. And just the skill of practical life transferring from one bowl to the other. Also takes concentration as they put all of the bottle caps from one side to the other. Um, you can use any utensils you want. I have picked a small spoon since I'm working with a one and a half year old, but you can pick a larger spoon. Um, you can pick any type of thongs or tweezers, whatever you'd like to make it a little bit more challenging. <laughs> 